Welcome back to ADHD with me, Travis Mills. We're back, baby. We're in the swing of things. And my guest today is one of the reasons why I wasn't able to record a podcast for two weeks. Yes. My co-star on the coop. On the coop. Mr. Lou Wilson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Uh, um, I hope y'all just got hyped for a second, just real quick. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to bring to this podcast. Energy, dog. It's ADHD, dog. No one's we- listening anyway, dude. Okay, so we're cool. good. Yeah. All right, kill. But I'm just like, I'll chill the fuck out, okay. dude. I don't know why I'm acting so high. <laughs> I'm also going to keep forgetting to look at you because I'm like, oh, this is a podcast. But then there's cameras just here. Just look down. Yeah, I'll just look here. This is where I'm going to be. You, uh, If you're just listening to this, you have no idea what's going on. But If, if you want to talk to me, home, dude, during this podcast, just text me, okay? Okay, chill. I can do that. Yeah, but like text me under under like you know, under the table yeah, so like, people do don't know. Yeah, I'm just going to do a ton of like, hey, what's up? And then I'll read it like, yo, oh, what's up, dude? Hey, what's up, dude? How are you doing? Yeah, dude, I'm just stuck in a shitty podcast. Oh, dude, I feel you. I'm also stuck in a shitty podcast. Dude, right? really? Who's the host, man? Because I got a shitty guest. You should come on my podcast. Honestly, dude, I would love to do your podcast because right now I'm doing absolute trash bits with this dude. I don't know. He's got a bunch of fucking tattoos. Dude, I hate fucking tattoos. Dude, me too. I have a human garbage can sitting across from me, and I mean, he's giving me nothing juicy. Dude, I believe you, dude. I got this dude. He's got this salt and pepper hair, but he's like 29. It's like, what the <sighs> fuck is wrong with you? Fucking loser. He probably bleaches it, dude. I bet he bleaches it, dude. I <laughs> bet he bleaches it. This guy doesn't even wash his hair, dude. He has dreads. Oh, God. Man, I hate those nappy <laughs> motherfuckers, dude. I swear. Get a goddamn clean cut and a job. I swear. Hold on. I got to look over at him, dude. Yeah, wait, he, he, he can't know that I'm just texting. Yeah, I got to engage real quick. Hey, what's going on, yo, Travis? Hey, man, dude. Yo, thank you so much for dude, doing I'm this. I'm so excited to be here with you, yo, dude. <laughs> yo, man, it's great to have you. Honestly, I got to tell you. I like you so much. <laughs> dude, I like you so much. I know that's like a weird thing to say. I know often you don't just tell people you like them, but... I just feel like you need to know that I like you. Yeah, man. Well, you know, I'm really glad uh, that we could make this happen. Dude, yeah. Because I know I know you're a busy guy. Hey, thank you, dude. You know, I, I stay hustling, dude. <laughs> well, I've been trying to get you on the pod for a while, man. Yeah. And, you know, you've always shot it down. Yeah. But now I think we've gotten to a place where, you know, we're comfortable. Well, exactly. You know, it's like finally we're co-stars, yeah. you know? And when you're co-stars... I've co- I've I've ascended to your level now. Exactly, dude. Like before, you were so far below me. Very true. Uh, yeah, you know, with your like successful, you know, other successful TV shows for your successful music career, with the fact that you got this podcast with your own neon sign, like you were way with my- below me, dude. <laughs> You know, it's like I don't. Like, you think I? You think at my level, I need my own neon sign, dude. My neon sign is the Hollywood sign. <laughs> you know, uh, dude. I considered uh, paying someone to just follow me around with that. Honestly, that would be dope as hell. Generators though are expensive. Mm. <laughs> I'll tell you, the only thing stopping me is the cost of gender. I love that. Well, dude, no. I mean, and and gas is always going up. Exactly. So it's like inflation. Yeah, you got to pick your moments. Honestly, <laughs> you just need to figure. Like when you go. To the Grammys, you just got to have this. You got to have the <laughs> dude true. sitting behind you. So if the camera's ever on you. I don't even get him a seat. He yeah. just sits on the lap of whoever was supposed to be behind you. Exactly, me. dude. And they can just get with it. Yeah. And they're like, excuse me, I'm allergic to neon. And I'm like, bitch. Exactly. You What? Pay- yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wh- what? Aller- is that even a fucking thing? Exactly. They, most of the, gra- the honestly, you could be on the cover of the New York Times. I don't fucking know. The next day, just because you were straight. Uh, Travis Mills screams through the entire Grammys. What bitch? You're addicted to. You're uh, you're allergic to neon. We all know that shit's fake. I'm the one that's addicted to neon. Exactly. I need to have it around all I the need time. It all the time. You need to get on this level. Carry it around even when it's not on. Exactly. I just need. I just want to feel it. I just want to know that at any time I could turn it on if I wanted to. Mm-hmm. I was in an Airbnb in Seattle, and they had a massive neon sign in the bedroom. And I remember I, like, slept with it on one night, and I was like, am I going to be sick the next morning? <laughs> I mean, like, it's not like – it wasn't like – this is, like, probably, like, cool LED shit. That was, like, real, like, neon, which I believe scientifically is a bunch of gas inside <laughs> a tube that you then electrocute, which then leads to light. This is CBD neon, so oh, it <laughs> – Oh, that's, it actually that's, heals okay, you. Dude, yeah, you turn it on when you oh, want to yeah, chill. Yeah, yeah, it just kind of puts that out. Yeah, there, like, yeah. Room. What what did the neon sign say that was in the bedroom? Oh, it was like cowboy boot. <laughs> it's just some real dumb shit. It was like it was like a cowboy, 
the whole like place. You're had, shooting a Western or what? Yeah, dude, I was shooting. <laughs> I only travel to shoot. <laughs> I don't just go places. That's insane, Travis. <laughs> I'm, my fucking neon sign. What's a vacation? What what exactly, dog? I mean, I'm always auditioning constantly every <laughs> month. Right this, now. This is an audition. Dog, I know CDs. <laughs> I know CDs are out of CDs for those of you who aren't as familiar with casting, directors. casting they, directors. They 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 make the choices about who's gonna play certain roles in, in certain programs. Exactly. And I know that they watch ADHD. <laughs> That's the I I've all I always talk to my casting friends. I'm like, what are you listening to right now? Like, ADHD. ADHD, dude. Yeah, I mean it's become kind of a staple in the casting community. Here yeah. in Hollywood, I think that's why I'm booking so many more roles. Exactly, because people just want to talk to you about. I've also promised them like spots on the podcast, yeah, of course, that I'm never going to fulfill. I mean, dude, the ca- but I already shot the show, so exactly. it's done. <laughs> hey, it Catch me at the rap party. Hey, honestly, speaking of that, are you are you going to the rap party? I have tickets to Avengers. Uh, um, dude, don't do this to me, dude. You're not. Don't look at me. Don't look at me, all dude. Sad. You're not going to the don't rap do, party. Don't look at me all sad, dude. Don't do this. Don't do this. What time were the tickets, dude? 7.45. Okay. Oh, dude. So it's like, you know, if I want popcorn and shit, I should be there at like 7.30. <laughs> and the rap party strikes at 7. <laughs> and it's 15 minutes away. <laughs> so honestly, I'll be at the rap party for 15 minutes. If you want to be there right when it starts, dog, we could do it. I'll wait up. outside. I'll hell, wait outside. Hell yeah, let's get there early. Yeah, dude. I'm going to start a line. Honestly, let's throw our own rap party 45 minutes. This before. is the rap party. This is the rap party. Hey, welcome, dog. Yeah. Welcome to the rap party for the coop. We just uh, finished shooting this show. Exactly. Yeah, do any of you know what we're talking about? Uh, I don't think so, because I haven't been able to do the podcast for a few weeks because mm-hmm. I was shooting the show. Yeah. So this kind of like, I think they're just going to come into the joke really late. Yeah. But when they listen to this episode again, they'll be like, ah. So this is a two-timer, guys. For those of you at home, this is a podcast you listen to once when it comes out and once after you finish watching The Coop. Then you'll completely, then you'll get all the jokes. Yeah. I mean, almost all of them. Almost all. I tell, I tell shitty jokes. Hey, man. Not to me. Yeah. Thank you, man. Um, but for everyone listening who doesn't know what we're talking about, we just finished five weeks of shooting this television. Well, it's not a television show. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's digital, a show. Digital series. It's a show. Uh, it's, a, it's a show. <laughs> it's uh, a show uh, with Funny or Die and Echo Video, which mm-hmm. is a new streaming service. I just got paid for that. Hey, congrats. I, yeah. Hey. <laughs> say, hey, every time you say it. Echo, echo, echo. This is like, it's like K-Earth 101. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, uh, you know, like the supermarket sweepstakes where yeah, you just exactly. go and just throw as much shit in exactly. as echo, many times as, as, many times as echo as you can get in. This, this echo sh- video. Oh, hold on. My PayPal notifications are going off. Yeah, sorry. I got to silence my <laughs> phone, dude. They do me through the cash app. Oh. <laughs> they throw me 35 cents every time I say echo video, dude. <laughs> They got uh, like a Google alert for life. <laughs> my Siri actually does all of the accounting for me. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Siri is sick. You uh, think so? Uh, no. I'm, I'm a, personally, I'm a Google home guy. You know that there's a way to make Siri cuss. Really? Uh, but it's like, oh, oh, watch this. Let me see. I'm on Siri, what's the right Russian now? word for motherfucker? And this dude is currently talking to Siri? <laughs> God damn it! How do you do this? Honestly, dog, you are embarrassing yourself on your podcast right <laughs> yep, now. Yep, I'm definitely. Yeah, the people just tuned out. People just tuned. <laughs> Honestly, you just lost so many. <laughs> God, you guys. can't even keep headphones on. So well, how, how is got, this going for you? Well, I gotta wear them cool so people can see my hair. Yeah. All right, because Hazel, who many of you all can't see, but is the incredible producer of this show. I don't know that. I'm just trying to compliment people. Uh, I like complimented my hair when I walked in the studio, and I'm like, I can't. Can't not showcase right now, all right? But I don't know how to wear these headphones. I don't run a podcast. Right? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Shit, dude. tell me, you're supposed to explain this shit to me. How shit. do I wear headphones? Well, you fucking put them on your head. I mean, you could put them behind your head. Okay. You could put them on one ear. You could take one ear off. Some dude that that came on my other show before who wore a big hat who didn't want to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> he went, Shut the fuck he up. He went like this. Shut the fuck up. He made like a headphone beard, you know? That's That has to be one of the most insane. I'm trying to make, like, the idea that <laughs> you would take me seriously. Hey, what's up? No, I'm here. <laughs> For those of you who are watching, I'm currently wearing my headphones like they're a beard. And I'm trying to be a serious person. Now, I just want to talk about the war. <laughs> The war. Yeah, I just want to talk about. I just want to talk about real shit. You know, I came out. I came out. I, I came out. I came out this podcast because I want to talk about real issues. Yeah, you know? <laughs> understood. Global warming. Yeah, you understand me, dog. I get you. You know, it's hard to see what you're saying through the beard, oh, but is it, is, <laughs> is it hard to? 
You have a hard Do girls like that? Girls love that <laughs> shit, dog. Dog, I walk into the club with my headphone beard on. <laughs> I start, I, I straight, dog, I slang. Like, are you the DJ? Like, no, 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 no. I'm meeting some friends. <laughs> Nah, honestly, I had I would I've been in line for forty five minutes. <laughs> it took me a long ass time to get in here. Honestly, they I got to the front of the line and they were like, "We ain't gonna let you in here with this dumb ass. <laughs> Take those headphones off." I'm like, "Nah, this is my identity. <laughs> uh, this my ID. This my ID. Honestly, you need to see something. This is what you look this at. Is it. <laughs> ain't no ain't no child out here with a headphone beard. All right. What you think? I'm under twenty one and walking around like this. You think so? Do <laughs> you think this is child's play? You think this is child's play? I'm honestly not committed to doing this for the- If only you knew where the aux cord was plugged into. Exactly, dog. You know where this goes, and you never will, dog. <laughs> you never will. Ow. Um, <laughs> oh, fuck. I can't. Oh, fuck. You I waddle. Can't you waddle. Hey, <laughs> hey, thank you for letting me in. I, 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 Where's I, the bathroom? I, hey, honestly, I got to get this shit. It shit got deeper <laughs> while I was, because in the Uber, he was like, you got to sit down. <laughs> Because I can't drive the car. Can I hover my ass? And he was like, I, and I tried to do that for a while, but I don't have a core strength. <laughs> I just don't have a core strength. You hate sitting in Ubers. Exactly. It's dude. a thing. Dude, I hate ride sharing to work with you. Yeah. Because you just won't sit down. this? Oh, yeah. fuck. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you sit on your hands? Yeah, exactly. It's dude. like, it's really weird. I just don't like, you know, because for reasons that I don't have to explain, you know, I got a foam beard, and I hate with an ox cord that goes somewhere you don't need to know, and I don't like sitting down. Got it. I mean, yo, I un- I understand, man. You know, I got a standing desk. <laughs> I ride bird scooters, not f- the fucking bike ones that are popular now. Um, you jet ski, not sea doo. Exactly, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusively jet ski, never sea doo. <laughs> dude, I mean, you fucking kill me. <laughs> kill me before I ever ride a sea doo. <laughs> Uh, what you bring me? You bring me to Lake Havasu? What the fuck is this? And you have seniors? Get this. Honestly, I'm going fucking home right fucking now. Uh, that's uh, a. I've never thought about differentiating between seniors and Jeskies, <laughs> but it's a. You know, DJ Colin. He fucking. He C-Doo. knows. He knows the thing or two. He knows about the thing or two. Has he been on the show? DJ Khaled? Yeah. He's next week. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Yeah. I, I thought I'd get you first just yeah. to get people hyped up. Exactly. And then I could bring on lesser talent. No, I'm definitely, yeah, exactly. The I'm a I'm definitely the primer. Yeah. And the second the next reaction in this chemical reaction that is ADHD. What's up? I took chemistry in high school. Uh I don't know what I'm fucking saying. Uh but yeah, no, it's a, that's the logical next guest. I mean, you were part of the cell to DJ Khaled. Yeah. I was like, yo, I got Lou Wilson coming on, mm-hmm. and then you, and he was like, done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard. Uh, I was on another thing, and they tried to put Will I Am before DJ Khaled, and he hates that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I could see that. Yeah, you know, Will, I could see that. Yeah. That goes back to high school, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Will I Am and DJ Khaled went to high school together. You know, that's something most people don't know. Um, they both ran track. They both ran track. DJ Khaled used to run track. Yo, mean cross country dude. <laughs> My man goes for miles. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't really know what race DJ Khaled is, but there's some Kenyan in there somewhere. He's winning it. He's winning it. I'll tell you, that's the truth. Um, oh. Do you know these people? I feel like you actually know these people. Okay, so I know I met Will I Am on many occasions. Mm-hmm. You know, before I had my show, uh, before we did my Beats One show at Apple, we ran all of Beats One outside of Will I Am's studio. Yeah, uh, and it was called the Future, and it was really nice because he has heated toilet seats. What? Yes. Damn. Um, and then one time we got into a, a really cool conversation uh, because he liked my watch. Really? Yeah. And then we started talking about moving businesses to Detroit mm-hmm. and uh, putting product placement inside of new cars mm-hmm. and how he'll never top uh, a boom, boom, pow. <laughs> <laughs> and so he actually gave me some gems. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. He gave me gems. And he was like, he just told me to like, you know, invest in products and like, you know, think bigger than just selling records. Damn. And that was cool. Hey, so that was great. So if we could just splice that in there. Slide it back where I fucked that all, exactly. where I fucked that shit Cut up. that shit out and then we're going to slip this perfect, <laughs> eloquent description. I mean. And send that one out to the press. And okay. I, yeah. We'll push, go, yeah. <laughs> push that to Will. I'm just, Will would love to hear that. Let's get, let's get a quote from Will for the podcast. <laughs> and then if you could edit that in there as well. 
We'll just freeze frame this. Cut. Well, let's here. Let let's just let's just shoot like let's just shoot our coverage of our conversation. What's up, Will? Hey, man, so glad you decided to come on this episode with Lou. W- yeah, Will, so good to see you again, man. I'm not sure you remember me. I walked by you one time at a party that you were having for the uh, the. Uh, oh, I was about to call it the. Well, he's lying. He bought VIP uh, to your show in Anaheim yeah, five years ago. I did, and uh, it, it came with a signed. I'm not sure you remember signing the poster that you did, uh, but thank you. I, it hangs over my bed. Well, you spilled Lou's name wrong. Uh, and so uh, yeah, this you, is weird. I, it, look, I'm just, can you re-sign his poster? Thank you, dog. It's L-O-U, not L-E-U. <laughs> I don't know where you, I don't know if there's a Lou out there spelling it L-E-U. <laughs> and I don't know why you did that. But honestly, you're Will I Am. And you're you're the fucking goat of songs that say boom, boom, No, pow. Will, he doesn't think that you can't spell. No. He knows you can spell. Nah. He's just telling you that's not how you spell his name. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Cool. Hazel, that works for you? Yeah, can you splice? Good to go. Cut out the part where <laughs> I sound like I'm ever insulted Will I Am and just splice in the part where I thank him and then Travis defends me. And then have Will's team send back some insults directed at Lou. Exactly. It's ad time. The first ad is brought to you by a previous sponsor of the podcast, Blinkist. The problem is that in today's age, it can be hard to find the time to sit down and learn more. It's not easy when social media can be so addicting and time consuming. So you may think you don't have the time to read a book or develop yourself, but there is an app I highly suggest. It's called Blinkist. It is the only app that takes the best key takeaways, the need to know info from thousands of nonfiction books and condenses them down into just 15 minutes. So you can read or listen to 8 million people are using Blinkist right now and has a massive and growing library from self-help, business, health to history books. I use Blinkist when I'm driving in the car on my way to do this podcast, uh, and I've gotten a lot of reading slash listening done that way. Um, I don't know what you call audiobooks. I technically read, listen to them, uh, and I've knocked out a bunch. A few of them are The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Getting Things Done, How to Win Friends and Influence People, The Power of Habits, and The Four-Hour Work Week. Right now, for a limited time, Blinkist has a special offer just for our audience. Go to Blinkist.com slash ADHD to start your free seven-day trial. That's Blinkist, spelled B-L-I-N-K-I-S-T. Blinkist.com slash ADHD to start Start your free seven-day trial. Blinkist.com slash ADHD. Today's podcast is also brought to you by Talkspace. We all need someone to talk to, a person who can support us through the rough patches or even the everyday ups and downs of life. That's where Talkspace comes in. Talkspace is therapy for how we live today. Talkspace online therapy makes taking care of your mental health more affordable and convenient than ever before. Simply provide your preferences for therapy and Talkspace will match with one of 4,000 plus therapists the very same day. Send your therapist unlimited text, audio, picture, or video messages from anywhere at any time. No matter what you're going through, you're not alone. You can join more than 1 million people who feel happier with Talkspace. Talkspace has more than 4,000 licensed therapists who are experienced in addressing the challenges we all face to match with your perfect therapist for a fraction of the price of traditional of traditional therapy, please go to Talkspace.com. Make sure to use the code ADHD to get your first week free and show your support for this show. That's ADHD and Talkspace.com. Yeah. I honestly would love to get roasted by Will I Am. Honestly, I'm down to write jokes for Will I Am to roast, <laughs> roast me. yourself. When I get roasted on Comedy Central, it's going to be no Jeff Ross, no no madonna no martha stewart no snoop dog it's just gonna be miller me and will i am <laughs> will i am's gonna do a one-man set <laughs> exactly it's a one-man show one man 45 minutes is just tearing me down it's your life from infant from an infant exactly. to an old man we're gonna do just like a straight up riff tracks like <laughs> you know it's we're gonna play a bunch of my like a slideshow on my shit and will i am is just gonna like just shit on me my family Cause that's just the kind of that's the kind of dude he is. That is the kind of guy he is. He and just, he's, and then he's gonna close it with a black eyed peas reunion. Exactly. And I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Real talk, I'm gonna cry. Uh he's gonna be out there, him, Apple D app, Taboo, Fergie, shit. The fact you know all their names. Of course, dog. He's my hero. <laughs> I do I do love Will I am. I really do. I remember when I like found out he drives his own, he like made a car. He did, yeah, I've seen it. And drives it. I was like, Oh, this dude's on another level. Like that's, that's that what, was the car shit he was talking to me about. Yeah. though. yeah. I'm not even exaggerating that story. <laughs> like, I mean, I believe, I believe every the idea that Will I Am's out here handing out gems, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Talking to Will I Am is a gift, right? <laughs> You're lucky, <laughs> and never forget it. 
Um, oh, oh my God. Um, anyways, back to the coup. <laughs> oh yeah, we were on a show. <laughs> We just finished shooting a show together. Yeah, what's up? I got real distracted by this uh, headphone beard that I've committed. I haven't put my right down, my right hand down in a while because you, I can't trust. Watch, it's just slowly, slowly. Oh, there it goes. Okay. All right, that's not good content. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's great content. It's great content for the people at home. You know, I'm always trying to think of everybody though. I'm trying to do it for, I'm trying to do it for you in the car, and I'm trying to do it for you. We were talking before this podcast started, and we said that this podcast is not like a road trip podcast. No, it's like a a drive to work. It's a drive to work. It's as Travis eloquently put it. It's traffic, baby. It's traffic. <laughs> light uh, traffic. Light traffic. <laughs> light traffic. Forty five minutes to work. Not home. You go find. You have to find a different. You can listen to the next episode on your way home. Exactly. Yeah, you're getting like a two for there. Yeah, you go. Yeah. You know, it's like, and that's nice because you can always stay caught up. It's always tough when you get one of those podcasts. It's like two hours long. It's like, okay, well, I can listen to some of it now, some of it tomorrow, and then you're four episodes behind. <laughs> it's like, no, no. I honestly don't even think I could sit in here and talk to you that long. Exactly. Like the podcast is called ADHD. <laughs> all right, you got to live up. You got to live up to this neon sign, dude. Oh man, that's um, actually the fourth neon sign we've had. Really? Yeah, people keep taking them. <laughs> they just keep getting jacked. Well, no, I mean, I keep firing the guy that's supposed to follow me with the neon sign, yeah. and I just forget to get the neon sign back. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's hey, dude. Honestly, you don't have time for that. <laughs> You're out here fucking. Just order a new one. Exactly. You're holding court with Will. I am, dude. You think you got time? You think you got time to fucking chase down a dude who who is so desperate that you he need he's. But he not. Yeah, use your words, Lou. Hazel, cut this. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love it. Hazel's a character. Is Hazel in a I lot of I don't think people episodes? know that she's bit behind this window. What's up, Hazel? This is, you're going to get a lot of attention this episode. <laughs> um, but yeah, I. Uh, <laughs> hey, there's a window in the studio. And just so you guys you, know. You can't see it, cameras, but just, we behind, can. just behind you is a lady. Um, but yeah, I. Uh, <sighs> Whatever. Dude. You had fun shooting the show. I had a, I had a lot of fun shooting the, shooting the coop. With, uh, Travis um, was the first person I met on set. What, was that really? Yeah, we walked. I remember. I remember we walked up this. We like we shot in this mansion in Tarzana, and I remember we walked up. The, I. It was Will I Am's mansion. It was Will I Am's mansion. <laughs> Travis had really hooked the show up, and he was like, "Will had just built this mansion in Tarzana, but he wasn't living in it yet." Uh, and so Travis was like, "My man, I'm working with this company, Funnier Die Echo Video." Echo video. Got my notification. 35 cents in the bank. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, Travis hooked it up. But yeah, I remember I walked up the stairs and then I walked in the room and there you were. You were wearing a suit. You were in the Navy suit with a white shirt. My man has a photographic memory. Well, it's just because I remember. And then I remember you were much nicer than I think I thought. Like, I mean, what can I say? I, hey, I'll be that Yo, guy. why do people think I'm going to be a dick? Because you got a bunch of tattoos, dog. I mean, not that like dudes with tattoos are dicks. But I don't think but I... But dudes with tattoos are dicks. Yeah, I don't think I expected you to be a dick. I just expected you to be like, so, <laughs> And for me to go... What did I say? I think you were just like, what's up, dude? Hey, nice. To, not that you sound like that, but you were just like, there was more energy. I sound like Keanu Reeves and Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. What's up, dude? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I was like, oh, shit. Uh, it's Keanu. Uh, <laughs> but Keanu? Ke Ke is this little Keanu? <laughs> is this t little tatted Keanu? Um, you're, probably, you're probably taller than Keanu. You met Keanu? Dude, we haven't spoke, I mean, in about two years. Damn, dude. Yeah. Why? I mean, ever since the Matrix incident. Oh, I lost the role of Neo yeah, to exactly. Keanu. You were what, like <laughs> 12? 12, 12 years old, dude. But you know the part of the movie where he's young? Yeah. That was that, me. That was you, dude. Yeah, and I lost it to this other kid that played young Keanu, but I took it out on him. I mean, exactly. I Look, I understand now through years of therapy that I, that was that was like misplaced anger, mm, you know? That's um, real shit. Yeah, but we've worked through it. And uh, you and young Keanu, not you and old <laughs> No, Keanu. he hasn't called me back. Exactly. Uh... But yeah, I uh, yeah, you just like came at me with more energy and like uh, I think like enthusiasm than I pep. expected. Yeah, you a pep dog, <laughs> straight up dog. You, you know, a lot of people say I could have been a cheerleader. Honestly, dog, coulda. Yeah, coulda, shoulda. shoulda. Never I probably shoulda. You probably shoulda, dude. You shouldn't be here, <laughs> man. You belong in a middle school in Kansas, screaming at a bunch of young people. Yeah, about how you used to be somebody. You're right. Yeah, I see. I saw my life going from like cheerleader to cheer coach. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
And, you know, that's a position I feel like I'd really kill. Exactly. You're okay at this. <laughs> You're like D's. But if you were a cheer coach in the middle of nowhere. Maybe I should start a cheer coach podcast. And like everything you need to know about coaching cheer. Because it's probably inherent. Like you I bet you there's like two cheer coaches that are listening to this. Like, you motherfucker. You don't even know that. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's like they're, this piece of shit. they're together right now. Just like standing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what, th- what? This man thinks what I do is a joke? This man thinks it's crazy to be a 45-year-old man screaming at a bunch of 13-year-olds to pick each other up more? You fuck Travis Mills. I'm going to come out to Los Angeles to give him a piece of my mind. Show you how to do a real backflip, pussy. Exactly. You son of a bitch. What, you think you know how to handspring Travis Mills? Huh? You think you know how to fucking make a pyramid? You ever seen Bring It On? Exactly, dog. That movie is false. <laughs> I watched that shit, and in the movie theater, I was just screaming out, wrong. I got kicked out of Bring It On three times. Three times, dude. Honestly. <laughs> and so, and what, now? Now you think you think you can come for me? You think Kirsten Dunst come, comes for me? And you think you could do worse than Kirsten Dunst? Huh? These are athletic shoes to fill. Exactly. Uh, honestly, yeah, be careful. You should get security, dude. <laughs> You gotta be worried about. You gotta be worried about like big, like you know, because I'm also assuming these are like big. Du- I don't know. For some reason, in my head, a cheer coach is like a. Big He's like six dude. five, two fifty. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> six five, two. F- you know, dude. You know, this- prison buff. Exactly. Yeah. You know, dude. Of course, you're supposed to be, dude. Just like every other cheer coach I've encountered in my life. Exactly. Six five, two fifty, prison buff, always. Honestly, Google cheer coach. That's what comes Has up. Has a tap out tattoo? Of course, dude. Honestly, underneath a tap out shirt. He <laughs> takes off his tap out shirt. Fucking, it's, it's like he never took it off. Dude, you don't want to see him rip off his no fear hoodie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck, dude. And he likes to. <laughs> Give him a reason. <laughs> He might do it even if you don't. Dude, it's like that guy. I mean, dude, you know, it's the guy that you're honking behind and it's the raised F-250 and he gets out and he's ready to just cheer whoop your ass. (laughs) Exactly. With a smile on his face too. Hell yeah, dude. He's going to backflip into that shit. (laughs) He's going to spell your name while he beats your ass. (laughs) T-R-A-V-I-S. Yeah. I don't know how to do that. Honestly, good. Yeah. (laughs) Honestly, if you knew how to, I would have been like, oh, what's going on? (laughs) Hazel, how much we know about this dude? <laughs> Hazel, this dude knows how to cheer? <laughs> Hazel, when you talk, will it be on the podcast? Oh, we got to fix that. That's great. Yeah, we got to fix it. Guys, <laughs> we're, we're just talking. To- <laughs> <laughs> we're talking to Will I Am. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Will I Am. We, he, he didn't want to. He's on the phone just to us, though. You exactly. guys can't hear him. He doesn't want to be. He, like, wants to stay, you know. Look, he wants to feature. He wants my podcast to say featuring Will yeah. I Am, but he just doesn't want to feature on the podcast. Mm-hmm. It's like one of those. It's like, hey, it happens in music all the time. All the know? time. It's called Ghost Features. It's called Ghost Features. Will I Am is Ghost Features. Featuring on my podcast on right the, now. On this podcast. It's cool. And we're calling him Hazel, you know, <laughs> so that he, like, feels comfortable. Well, he's supposed to do another podcast right now mm-hmm. at the same time. And so mm-hmm. I said that we would just change his name so yeah. we could keep his, his identity. That's good. So that, like, know, he doesn't get, like, a bunch of, like, shit. Of course. You know, checking the time. Cool. 26 <laughs> minutes. We'll do it. <laughs> What's up, dude? I'll call it out. I'll call it out. Let's get meta. <laughs> Uh, hey, I'm already talking to Hazel. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna call you out when you check the quick time check. Uh, um, I'm a trash podcast guest. No, that's dude, my it's like amazing. takeaway right now. It's really funny. Dude. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this beard. This is <laughs> um. But back to our show. Oh yeah, we're on the show. <laughs> Don't send me and Lou together to do a press tour oh, ever. That would be wild. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel doesn't have enough shows in the week to accommodate yeah, exactly. us. Exactly. Jimmy would be like, "So tell me about the show," and I'd be like, "All right." But first, do you like cheerleading, Jimmy? Hey, you know the difference between a sea doo and a jet ski. <laughs> what do you? Th- how do you feel about Will I Am? Hey, G- Kimmy, Jimmy. Hey, Kimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, Kimmy. Uh, that's what we want. Hey, Jimmy, Kimmy. You got some headphones I can put on real quick? I got a whole bit where I put them on. I put them on like a beard, and then I put the ox cord on my asshole. Come on, man, get with this. Um, I would kill to do a press tour. That would be wild. Like, I mean, yeah, I would love. It would be crazy. It just it's be, never going to happen for our show. It, oh, never. Yeah. Dude, never. <laughs> never. But the cool thing about our show is that it's a choose-your-own-adventure. Mm-hmm. Um, we had a ton of dope guest stars. Ton, like, really dope. Like, Insane. Um, I mean— I was with Bobby Moynihan yesterday. Exactly. Tony Hale was on set for a day. Tony Hale cussed me out. 
That's a true story. That's a true story, dude. Yeah, he told me. I, oh, I can't ruin it, but yeah, he he told me some not nice things. Exactly. Um, and I'm not going to tell you if it was like when we were actually shooting the scene or if when we were just hanging out, like you know, and, and holding. But it happened one of the, one of one of two. Of those Only places. one way to find out. Only <laughs> one way to find out if Tony Hale's cussing out of Travis was personal or professional. <laughs> And that's to watch the coop come into Echo Video and this fall. This fall, I think, I think. <laughs> we honestly on the press tour we'll have to kind of nail some of these things. Hopefully, down. they send us dates. Exactly, yeah. they will. They, they will. will. Yeah, they will. Today's podcast is also brought to you by a previous sponsor, Hims. Hims is a new wellness brand for men. The problem is that sixty six percent of men lose their hair by age thirty five. But the thing with hair loss is once you start to notice it, it's too late. But right now, it's easier to keep the hair you have than to replace the hair you've lost. The Solution is for hims.com. It's a one stop shop for hair loss, skincare, sexual wellness, all for men. Thanks to science, baldness can be optional. Hims connects you with real doctors and medical grade solutions to treat hair loss. No waiting room, no awkward in person doctor visits. You can save hours by going to forhims.com. It's easy. All you got to do is answer a few quick questions. The doctor will review and can prescribe you, and the products are shipped directly to your door. So order now. My listeners get a trial month of Hims for just $5 today, right now, while supplies last see website for full details and safety information this would normally cost you hundreds if you went to the doctor or a pharmacy but you can go to forhims.com slash adhd that's f-o-r-h-i-m-s dot com slash adhd forhims.com slash adhd today's episode of the podcast is also brought to you by the merch store Yes, my own merch store, ADHD merch store. Hit up fanjoy.co slash ADHD. Get yourself a hoodie, get yourself a sweater, get yourself a coffee mug or a phone case and show your support for the pod. I love you. Thank you. Um, and then our, you know, the cast was incredible, man. Truly. We had, you know, we had people like like yourself on. Man, we had people like yourself on. Man, dude. we had people like Jordan Graveris on uh, from Orphan Black, which, you know, what's crazy is I've seen his picture. Mm-hmm. I lost a role or he was being considered for something and I lost a role to Jordan. And so I had his face like burned into my <laughs> <laughs> burned and I, cause I remember dude, because it was his headshot and mm-hmm. like, you, you have you ever had one of those auditions where like you're right before you're about to go in and then like the casting director comes out, I was like, Oh, I just need a few minutes. And then like they make a phone call and it's, it was to like Jordan's team getting his availability uh-huh. and being like, you know, he's perfect for the role. Damn. As I'm about to go in there and read for this role. That's why. The- so I'm like, let me do my research real quick. I'm typing this fool's name. This and I'm like, Orphan Black. And I never watched the show. So I'm like, yeah. what's Orphan Black? So then when our first day and I see him, I'm like, oh, that dude looks familiar. And then the dude's like, you're on Orphan Black. Yeah. And he, uh, our sound dude, Frank, he was he was like a big fan of that yeah. show. And I was like, yo, you're, you're that guy. You're the dude who ripped it out. It's funny because I have a similar story. Not with another person who was on the show, John Gabris, who is like yeah. a comedian who's on the show. He, I walked into an audition one time and very loudly, right before I went in, they were like, yo, casting loves John. Uh, and so I think everything's going to clear. And then they came out and they're like, oh, Lou, let's go. come on in. And I was like, chill. Uh, but fun fact, John Gabris didn't get the role either. Oh, um, that he was telling me they like, Gave it to him, then they had him audition for it, then they took it away from him. So he never got it. So honestly, in my story, I'm the hero. Because ne- you won, you won. Exactly. That one. Uh, neither me nor John was ever the paramedic boyfriend in whatever show that was. <laughs> Tell me, hey, see who's at home. I could have been a paramedic boyfriend, right? Casting directors who watch this show. Now, hold on. Are you the boyfriend of a paramedic or are you a boyfriend who's a paramedic? Great question, Travis. <laughs> I am the paramedic who is a boyfriend. Does that make sense? Okay. You are, your occupation is a paramedic. My occupation, paramedic. My I think John, John might have lost the role because he went in being like, baby, that heart you had to save today was so cool. Yeah, exactly. Do you want to have sex? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. That I, Now I remember John went super <laughs> off script, which I think they thought like John looked perfect. But then once he opened his mouth, they were like, ooh. Today's episode of this podcast is also brought to you by Blinkist. 
Uh, in today's age, it can be hard to find time to sit down and learn more. It's not easy when social media can be so addictive and time consuming. So you may think you don't have time to read a book or to develop yourself, but there is an app I highly recommend. It's called Blinkist. You've heard me talk about it on this podcast before. They've sponsored this podcast multiple times. Blinkist is the only app that takes the best key takeaways, the need to know info from thousands of nonfiction books and condenses them down into just 15 minutes. So you can read or listen to it. Eight million people are using Blinkist right now. It has a massive Massive and growing library from self-help business health to history books. I like Blinkist because in less than 15 minutes, I can learn something new when I'm driving to work or when I'm driving to this podcast. I can finish a book that I've been, you know, trying to cross off my, my list for a long time. Um, I've read and listened to these books and I highly recommend that you check them out as well. The seven habits of highly effective people, uh, getting things done, how to win friends and influence people, the power of habits and the four hour work week. You can go to Blinkist right now and check out all of those books. Right now, for a limited time, Blinkist has a special offer just for ADHD listeners. Go to Blinkist.com slash ADHD to start your free seven-day trial. That's Blinkist, spelled B-L-I-N-K-I-S-T. Blinkist.com slash ADHD to start your free seven-day trial. Blinkist.com slash ADHD. Uh, I just started watching What We Do in the Shadows, mm. uh, which is a new show on FX, and uh, Gabrus is in it, which is you really get your, cool. Did you get your cash app? Yeah. Notification from for, FX. From FX. No, I got to do my ad read oh, after okay. you leave. Oh, okay. Yeah, they sponsor the podcast sometimes. Oh, oh dope, dope, yeah, dope. Yeah. Uh, I have a ten percent stake in the company. In FX. <laughs> me, me and Mister FX. We we went to middle school. You and Mark FX. <laughs> me and Mark FX. We we go way back. Damn, dude. I played his son's bar mitzvah. Fuck, you got those connects, dude. Dude, I do, man. Wow. I uh, yeah. I don't. I went to. I went to school with Larry TV Land, uh, but he that's <laughs> dude your, that that shit's old as fuck, exactly, man. Dude, TV, well, exactly. Larry Larry was held back a bunch of years too. He was like actually like like in his late early like early twenties. He we he school. bought you guys all the beer though. Exactly, Larry, Larry TV Land was to, like to, totally cool to party with, but like since I moved out here, he's been trash, dude. <laughs> Zero connection. He won't put me on any of his shows. He's always like, Doug, we already shot him back in the fifties, the sixties, the seventies. And I'm like, Larry, get me on Leave It to Beaver. And the dude just can't hook it up, dude. He doesn't know how to text. Honestly, <laughs> I like sent him texts and he just sends me back like emojis and shit. I think he's still got like a T9. It's trash, dude. Oh. I wish I had gone to school with Mark FX, dude. I wish. <laughs> um, oh, man. Um, and yeah, it was directed and written. <laughs> It's great that you just keep. It's like, oh yeah, we got like. Can you tell I'm used to doing something? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you're used to getting through a whole description without somebody jumping in here and being like, "Yo, producer, nobody can see what's going on." Will I? Am? Will and then making them will I am, and it is will I am. Honestly, guys, it's very exciting to be this close to will I am. Will I am complimented my hair when I walked in. I was like, damn. Oh. And will I am is the master of. Will I am? I feel like is the master of. Yeah, this is not. We're not going to talk about the coop. I got thoughts on Will I Am's hair. He's like the master of of taking a normal haircut and like changing just a little bit. It's like, oh, that's a high top fade. And you're like, no, no, no. It's uneven. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you're like, oh, shit. But he's like, Will I Am. So he's like confident as shit. So he's like, yes, yeah, uneven. And you're like, oh, my bad. Dog. <laughs> like, that is actually doper than if it were even. Um, that's how you know somebody's rich is when their hair is like just fucked a, up. a little fucked up intentionally because they're like, yo, I got to pay somebody to fuck <laughs> it up. I mean, yeah, you could pay a normal price and get a normal or you could pay an exorbitant price and have somebody fuck it up in a way that looks kind of cool. That's why I got tattoos. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Because that's like, oh. I just walked in. I was like, yo, fuck me up, fam. <laughs> hey, yo, fuck me up, dude. I'm trying to. <laughs> hey, fam. <laughs> fuck this shit up. <laughs> See this blank, beautiful canvas? Shit all over exactly. it. Exactly. I want people to know I got money, dog. <laughs> and that's by making myself look like trash. Uh, anyway, uh, written by Nora Kilpatrick. Kirkpatrick? I'm not going to lie. I've never... I think I like got it really in my head that it was Nora Kilpatrick right when the show started. But I think it's Nora Kirk Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick, yes. Kirkpatrick. Um, and she was also uh, in this band, uh, Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros. That was wild. Fucking insane. I, I feel like everyone on our show just it just had such a cool story. It was very, like, it was just like a slow roll of each person is more. Interesting. More, yeah. Like uh, the Dos Equis guy would be fucked. At exactly, that dude. The Dos Equis guy has no is the least interesting man in the world. 
What's up? Uh, honestly, that's the sound bite. That's the sound bite. The Dos Equis man would be the least interesting man in the world. <laughs> What's up? Uh, no, but yeah. Uh, everyone, like, I don't know. I re- still remember we were all just sitting around and she was like, yeah, I was in that band. I was like, and then like John was like, yeah, that was my wedding song, uh, Home. And then I went home and listened to it and I was like, oh yeah. I listen to this like every day. day. <laughs> And like this show would never, this like song would never stop playing, and I guess she just jammed out on accordion to it. Yeah, uh-huh. and then we had who else? Was well, there? Jen Tulak. I, I don't know if it's Tulik or Tulak. Jen Tulik. 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 Tulak. Tulik. Tulik. Will I end? You got thoughts? I think it's Jen Tulik. Yeah. Let's thanks, Will. That. Hey, thanks, Will. Um, <laughs> which she was a musician too, and um, and then you know she just wrote and and starred in in that film that's yeah. going to theaters. And, yeah, yeah. She's got have a, she's like a real ass movie star. She's about to be a movie star, kind of on like a indie scene level. She's dope. Go go go, go watch. watch the movie. Um, and then we got Brian Husky. Brian Husky, legend. Who you know is like the small is the is the like. Guest star or the like, fee- like the feature, like day player in every movie and TV show you've ever watched. That you were like, oh, that dude's hilarious. Hilarious. He's only in it for like a little bit, but he like steals the show. <laughs> and then, but in our series, he's in it a ton. He's the whole show. He's the whole damn show. He's the end credit. And then, of course, the dude would like we haven't even mentioned the Bachelor. <laughs> yeah. So we have Nick Viles on our show, which is wild. Yes. Uh, like, uh, you want to know something funny? Hit me. Uh, he actually does a podcast yeah. that shoots in this room. No way. Yes. Is, does he sit here or there? I don't think so. I don't. Where? Which one, Will? Where? <laughs> you sit. Will I am truly. He sits where you sit. He sits where I sit? Yeah. <sighs> oh, yeah, he does. Uh <laughs> They swap out the chairs. I tell I tell them, I'm like, I don't want any, every, sure. actually every podcast that I sit in a new chair. Really? I don't sit in the same chair twice. You you make them s- sell or throw out these chairs. Dude, and- look, I tell them, I don't give a fuck what you guys do with the old chairs. Yeah. Just don't have me sit in it again. Damn, dude. So, yeah, I mean, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> sorry. Damn, dude. So what I was smelling, that's not Nick Vial? No, it might've been my last, it might've been last week's chair. Oh, last week's chair. That's yeah. It. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm smelling just the aura of last week's chair being in this space. All right. Damn, <laughs> dude. This is, I guess. Honestly though, it's fun. Like it's kind of becoming a sport to me. On a, just yeah. to be like new chair. We need some more expensive chairs. Can we get more expensive chairs, please? My man wants to throw out more expensive <laughs> chairs. All right. Can we hook him up? Yes. And I my next guest, I, I want to not sit in it. Yeah. Yeah. You can look at the chair. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. The most of the podcast can be them standing looking at the chair and being confused and me being like, figure it out. I'll be sitting. <laughs> and then the like a majority of the show will be them deciding whether or not to join me and sit or just stand awkwardly. Exactly. Yeah. That's honestly, that's good content and the mic's over there but i keep motioning you to stay there <laughs> whole podcast <laughs> but yeah i really love i mean that would be great just a lot of awkward silence it's just you going no stop no no i'll even ask a question like so what was it like for you you know uh like when when you did that one thing yeah no and I'm, then like they'll try to like walk towards the mic like okay but hold on hold on anyways yeah <laughs> <laughs> just keep pushing on you know uh that's it honestly that's a great podcast and i'm i'll be listening <laughs> I'll be loose. That I'm a podcast is nothing, dude. It's meta, dude. <laughs> An interview where the one person never gets interviewed. I have on my uh, I have on my podcast today this person uh, to interview them, but they ain't gonna talk. Uh, they didn't show up. That would be. What about a podcast? Okay, I'm gonna pitch you, dog. Okay, okay. All right, let me hit you, dude. <clears throat> um, hey, uh, Lou Wilson, thanks for. Uh, I appreciate you coming to this meeting. Hey, uh, thank you so much, man. I heard, I heard, you know, through the grapevine, you have some some cool ideas. I'm excited. Hey, thank to you, dog. Uh, honestly, uh, I'm very excited to be here. Thank you so much for making time for me. Uh, so let me, you know, podcasts, right? I mean, I think I know a thing or two about podcasts, <laughs> Lou. <laughs> yes. I mean, I do have, you know, one of the top 300 podcasts. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> on <laughs> Apple Podcasts, Lou. Okay. Number 50 on Spotify podcast, Lou. Okay. But who's counting charts, Lou? Who's looking at analytics, Lou? I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I, or I should be. And I will be. Um, but I want to hit you with the idea of a podcast in which a person it says they're going to interview somebody. Okay. And then the person 
is in the room and introduces themselves. But as soon as they go to ask the first question, the person just never talks. <laughs> we just mm. kind of push through. So, so it's, it's like the opposite of an interview. Exactly. It's it's a anti-interview. But the person who you're anti-interviewing is there. Oh, yeah. We're wasting their time and making them come <laughs> to that space to be there. I like. Uh-huh. I love it. Uh-huh. I need it. Uh-huh. I'll take it. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, great. Uh, anyway, that's going to happen in real life, but for real, and Will I Am will be there, and I'm, you're going to invest It's in called it. Shut the Fuck Up with Lou Wilson. It's called Shut the <laughs> Fuck Up. Hey, welcome back to Shut the, the Fuck, fuck Up. up. Um, I want to start a podcast called Stop Listening, where oh. I, every <laughs> For every podcast, I start with telling them to stop listening. Exactly. It's like, hey, stop. Hey, turn this shit off. <laughs> Yo, welcome back to Stop Listening, where you should not listen to this. Exactly. Turn it off. Turn it off. And it's just me kind of advising you, like, not to listen to this. Mm-hmm. And there's so much better things you could be doing with your time. Like, hey, you know that that side business you wanted to create? Yeah. Now's the perfect time for you to do it. <laughs> you obviously have ample enough free time. You listen to a podcast <laughs> where nothing happens, and I just ask you to go away. <laughs> this episode... Episodes four hours. Exactly. Spend time with your kids. Exactly. Honestly, I'm about to start playing noises you don't want to hear. All right. This is the sound of a squirrel. This is the sound of a man falling down a bunch of stairs. Honestly, if you have time to listen to this, if you're choosing to listen, you need to take a look at your life, dog. If you have time to listen to this man fall down these stairs, go go donate. Go volunteer. Here's me mounting a picture frame. You got time to listen to this? Check yourself, dog. This podcast, if you've made it to the hour mark in this podcast, you need to be in therapy. And if and if you're not in therapy, then you need to, I don't know, take a class at the Learning Annex, dog. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Learning Annex. Is that a thing anymore? Is there a Learning Annex? I don't know. Yo, tag me on Twitter. <laughs> you got a Learning Annex? Well, I think ever since the invention of podcasts, Learning Annex has found business is just exactly, steady dude. declining. The Learning Annex podcast, I heard that's, you're 57, they're like 59, right? They're like two above you. They're coming for me, dude. They're on my ass. <laughs> Watch out, dude. Learning Annex podcast. Algebra, dude. Yeah. Um, well, yo, for, for those, for those people who don't know who you are, uh, you know, oh yeah, should I have like introduced my, we, we (laughs) attack this podcast. I, you don't know who I am. You probably looked me up over the course of this podcast and been like, who the fuck fuck is this this dude? Um, honestly, yeah. Fucking tell my credits. Tell my fucking credits. (laughs) Well, I got, I got, I got Lou Wilson on the show. You know, you might know him from the hit show, Netflix's, uh, original series, uh, American Vandal. Y'all. Funnier dies, like and subscribe. Y'all. Uh, the guest book. Y'all. <laughs> but more so, my favorite, the coop. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But also, I will say though, I was very excited uh, when I booked the coop mm-hmm. to know that I was working with you. No, you weren't. Yes, because I'm a fan of American. No, Vandal. you were. No, because when I booked it, I looked everyone up. I mean, I looked everyone up too, but yeah. like, uh, that's very sweet of you. Yeah. If I had, if I listened to. T Mills. I'm so glad you don't. <laughs> yo, someone on set came up to me like week two of us shooting and was like, yo, man, checked out uh, some of your old music over the weekend. I was uh-huh. like, why? I'm sorry. <laughs> like, dude, no, don't Honestly, do that. Let me, Bad. Let me give you that time back. back. Um, <laughs> what do you want me to do? You want me to do your laundry? Honestly, dude. mow your mow your lawn? Dude, I'm Walk sorry. Walk your dog? I'm sorry. I've tried to get YouTube to take it down. I spent a lot of money and a lot of time. They just keep re uploading. <laughs> I don't know who's out there trying to uncover this shit. I uh, think there's a second me. Yeah. <laughs> there's another there's another me out there who doesn't want me to die. Uh wow. Is that is that like do you have strong feelings about your like can I interview now? You yeah, 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 what's up? Do you have strong feelings about like your musical pet? Like are you not like are you not? Look, I used to be way uh, I used to be like I fucking hate it. But mm-hmm. you know what, you know what I've realized is that because I've Kid, you know, there's people out there who grew up. With I this truly shit. thought you were about to say because I have kids. No, <laughs> was, no, no. I was no. like, what? No. Thank no. you, Will. I am. Will I am? Just agree with me. Um, no, no, no. I used to be like very. I, I'm. I, here's my thing. I'm my own worst critic. I'm the hardest on myself yeah. than anyone else. Um, and so for a long time, I I was like just really like fuck. I hate all that old shit. I wish it could just be gone forever. Yeah. But then what I realized is that there are a lot of people who grew up listening to that. 
era of my music yeah. who relate to it. And for them, they don't, they don't see like, I know all the experiences in my life that I was going through during that time. So mm -hmm. like, you know, I was like depressed and it was like a weird, crazy time in my life. Yeah. So when I look back on those times, it's like, it's fun, but not the best. Yeah. Someone else has totally different experiences related to those songs yeah. that they're like, yo, dude, you were our prom, you yeah. know, and shit like that. Yeah. And so like for me to like talk shit about all of that would be, I don't know, me, I kind of like, it's yeah. just wrong. Yeah. Um, I will, I will say this. It's not an accurate representation of who I am today. Oh, that's, that's a gem. That's yeah. a gem. Is right it? That whole part, that's a will I am level gem, dude. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to give you, Will, can we get the stamp of approval? <laughs> Will's Signed giving off. Us, yeah, Will's giving us the thumbs up from the booth, dude. Yeah. So, you know, it's always like, you know, when you meet, and you know, I've obviously done a lot, you mm -hmm. know, since I put out all that old music. So when I meet someone in today, I don't, I, I just don't want people to go back 10 years, watch that and think that's who I am today. Mm. Because, you know, obnoxious, dumbass, loud kid yeah. who was telling everyone, fuck you, suck my dick. You know, that's... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. yeah. Honestly, I need some tea. I need some more tea mills in my life, <laughs> dog. I need to be out here telling people to suck, suck my man. dick. Uh, but yeah, uh, you guys can check out The Coop uh, on Echo <laughs> Video. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Is it any, we got through everyone. We, like, drop credits. Oliver. Tori. Uh, Tori Devin Smith, yeah. uh, Katie, Yo, Deborah Baker Jr. Deborah Baker Jr. Uh, honestly, did you? I'm not gonna, I won't lie. Oliver was like, if I, like, I, not, when I Googled Oliver and I was like, this is the dude from Pro, like, I remember watching Project X in a movie theater Me too. and being like, oh, like at like 14 and be like, this is, uh, this is the movie. I remember him being David Duchovny's son on Californication. <laughs> I hated him at first on that show. On Californication? Yeah. And now you thought he was a little bitch. <laughs> okay. I, I told him that. I told him that. You told him that? You're like, hey, what's like, up? Dude, I hated you for a little bit you on that like show. You like just towering Because he's like him. trying to ruin his dad's life, and I thought he was so, his dad was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized that it's a show, and it's not real. Yeah, that's such a Hollywood experience to like see somebody you saw in a movie and be like, yo, you were a fucking asshole so in that movie. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yeah, no, that was, uh, I don't know. The Coop is a really special thing. And I don't know. I think like it really brought together some amazing talent. Uh, I walked away with a lot of really cool friends who do really cool shit. Um, I don't know. I'm excited. Yeah, you, you, you doing all their podcasts now? Yeah, I'm doing all that. Oh, oh, you are? Oh. Yeah, dude. Honestly, you're not special, dude. I'm hitting the rain. I'm hitting Katie's podcast. <laughs> I'm going to DBJ's. That's Deb Deborah Baker Jr.'s podcast right after this. I'm doing Nora's podcast tomorrow morning. Okay. I stay hustling, dude. I got it, man. Honestly, you're not you're not anybody, okay? I mean, you might have a nice podcast, and yeah. I might be here trying to pitch you podcasts, but like... I'm, a, I'm like cool, well, dude. dude. Uh, I'm inviting the whole cast on, and and uh, what? You're you're not. You're no, not coming. No, nah, dude. Honestly, no. don't fucking. <laughs> I'm just kidding, dude. I'm just kidding. Dog. I want to be. I want to be. Um, All right, fine, dude. I'll let you come. Oh fuck yes, dude. I'll, I'll allow it. Jesus, that was scary, dude. <laughs> don't do shit like that to me, dude. My heart can't take it. Um, dude, but you're you're a really fucking funny guy. Um, you're really intelligent, and you know you do you do. I don't want to say you do stand up, but you no, do improv. I do improv and I do characters. And you do characters. Uh, where can everyone who's watching, if they want to go watch you live in the flesh? Yo, what's up? You can check me out at UCB. Uh, ha -ha. Uh, no, you can check me out at UCB uh, in Los Angeles. I perform there uh, once a week with my uh, Herald team, Yeti. Uh, which one? Uh, I perform at both on Mondays and Fridays. I'm at at UCB on Sunset. At UC, well, on, I perform on Thursdays at UCB Sunset. Sometimes I perform on Mondays and Fridays at UCB Frank. Oh, there they go. Uh, I perform Mondays. Uh, my headphones fell off. Uh, Mondays and Fridays at UCB Franklin. I'm also there once a month on the second Thursday at a show called Atlantic City where I do character stuff. Uh, so I stay grinded, dude. You stay out here, man. You know, I, I play the weekend show Ass Cat sometimes, so you might see me there. Dude, I've been wanting to get. I've. I think I told you this too. Is like me and uh, me and Madeline. We've tried to get tickets to Ass Cats forever, and it's always sold out. Dog, when I do one, I'll let you know. And you'll. you'll yeah. Man, I could tape seats off for you, dude. <sighs> I'll tape two Ooh, seats. Two with seats. tape. Wow. That can only be removed by my man. <sighs> 
Uh, I got to be new seats though. Okay. I want never. No, of sat course, in dude. Before. I understand. I would okay. get once I know I'm doing the show. I'll be like, all right, real quick, you got to tear those seats out, <laughs> put new, new seat, ones in, because that's the way my man does it. Yes. Otherwise, he's gonna be standing yeah. all show, and he's comfortable with it, dude. But he's six four, and it's a little distracting. It's like a little bit, and he's not gonna stand in the back. He's gonna stand where the seats would have exactly. been. Uh, and he's also going to talk real loudly <laughs> throughout the whole thing. We haven't like hung out in a little bit, so we might just catch up. Exactly. Via, I'll be like, I might, when I'm not on stage, I'll be like, hey, Trav, what's going on, man? I also Good, him, man. You know, just hanging out. Oh, cool, dude. Hey, I haven't met your girl yet. Is that your girl? Yo, hey, meet Madeline, dude. Hey, very nice to meet you, Madeline. My <laughs> name is Lou Wilson. Oh, hold up. I got to go be in the scene real quick. Hey, I I'll talk to you more. Uh, hey, dude, good luck. Hey, kill this scene, dude. <laughs> hey, dog, thank you. That Don't let us distract you, bro. Honestly, that kind of support is what keeps me going. Yo, if anyone talks shit on my boy Lucene, I'm going to beat your ass. Hey, y'all heard that, right? Y'all yeah. heard Oh, yeah, they better hear it. They better hear it. All right, great. I'm going to go do the scene now. Hey, thank you everyone for being for pausing and the whole theater. Hey, why is everybody leaving? Come back. Come back. If you leave, I'm going <laughs> to... Honestly, yeah, he's strong, y'all. <laughs> Look at all those tattoos. He's got... He's not as peppy as he looks. <laughs> he's not as peppy as he looks. As he's acting right now. He'll beat your ass. Beat your ass. You'll see your little T mills will come out. They'll tell you to suck your suck his dick and beat your ass. What? What'd you say, Will I am? <laughs> yeah, he does do Muay Thai. That's a real thing. That's not a that's not a fun thing. That's I don't just that's not just something on my resume. So I'll hopefully book more roles. Exactly. It, no, it's 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 not for booking <laughs> casting directors. Uh <laughs> Honestly, I will say you doing Muay Thai shit. It is like you have like a very like kickboxers, but like you do right. You have like a kickboxers like frame. You look just like all those. This is gonna sound right. I look just like John Jones. <laughs> you look just like John Jones. When you do this, like though, it is like oh shit, watch out. Uh, I feel like when I do it, it, it looks like hey. Put your legs You're getting down, crunk. Dude. Exactly. Wait, why is Lou getting... Why is Lou... Why is Lou, why is Lou, Lou is trying drunk? to have a party right now? Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> we having a good time. Uh, but yeah. Oh. Well. Well. Did we do it? I think we did it, man. Hell yes, dude. Lou... <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, this might be my favorite podcast. Wow. You hear that? You hear that? Hey, you hear that? You hear that? You hear that? Number one... I'm number one. All I had to do was act crazy for 51 minutes. <laughs> but who's counting? But who's counting? Who's Nobody. Counting? Nobody. You're just you. We just, just let this flow. Exactly. You're sitting. At, you've gotten home. You're like real. <laughs> sorry. Uh, you've gotten home. You're like just vibing on this podcast. So you're just sitting in the driveway. You know, even though you got home a couple minutes ago. <laughs> They're like, do I walk in? Oh, nah. Are they let's close? Just let's, are just, they let's just stick it out. Let's just, let's just, finish, just stick it out. My wife and kids are, my wife's making dinner right now. I'm assuming this is a man. Only men listen to but No. No, you know what's 74% female? Wow, dude. Yeah. Congratulations. Between the ages of 12 to 26. Dope. Nice, right? Good demographic. Yo, my man does the analytics. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Um. Well. Well, dude, it's, it's been real, man. It really has. It's been a um, I will not see you at the rap party, so. No, you'll see, or fi, I'll see you at the our pre-rap party. party. party <laughs> but I In won't, line. Yeah. But I, once I saw that, maybe I'll pull up to the movie theater. Honestly, say what's up, and then head to the rap party. That, I'll walk out the movie. <laughs> you just text me. I'm like, oh, hey, what's up? Real quick, real quick. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, yeah. run out real quick. Hey, what's up, dog? <laughs> see you, dog. Hey, what's up? And then I'm run back inside. Yeah. Um. Great. Cool. I'll see you Thursday, seven forty-five. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you which movie theater. I don't need all my fans <laughs> fucking running up on me. You know, like they do, because I got them. Um, I got fans. Well, that's why we couldn't do this episode live. Exactly. You yeah. had to pre-tape. Because people would know where we yeah. are, and they'd f figure out where we're doing they can this. Ba and like based on what you can see out of the windows, you can figure well, out. These that. windows are great for sniping. Exactly. And I don't know how many enemies you have, dude. Thousands, dude. <laughs> Most of the country of Panama is after my ass. Dude. All of the paramedic boyfriend roles you've taken from exactly, people. Exactly, dude. <laughs> they just All, add up, They dude. need a... Hey, I'll tell you, the amount of dudes out here who have tried to be a paramedic boyfriend and then had to watch me walk in the room and been like... Fuck me. Thousands. Dude, do you know how many dudes I have come on this podcast who are on, I mean, huge shows and huge. films? I'm like, why'd you move out to LA? He's like, man, it's all started with the common dream. Yeah. The dream to come and play a paramedic's boyfriend on television. Yo, and Pip. And DiCaprio. then I bring up Lou Wilson and they literally, like, no matter how successful they are, their fate, they get pissed, dude. They get pissed, dude. The whole thing really, scrunches up real, real tight. Real really, tight. dude, really mad. Yeah. yeah. Logan Paul? 
Yeah. Dude, he literally, I think you've taken like four rolls from him. Hey, what can I say? You know, you want to beat the Lou, you got to do the do. <laughs> Go, you say on. that? Yeah, I get my checks from Mountain Dew. <laughs> oh, okay. Makes uh, sense. Yeah, that's also my catch. <laughs> you want to beat the loot, you got to do, do the, the do. do. Okay, I got it. Uh, yeah, Echo Video. All right. <laughs> yeah, Echo Video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you can turn off your cars, walk inside. Yeah, I'm sure your wife fucking hates you, dude. Is, uh, or really, I guess it's your mom. Or yeah. Your mom or your dad wants you to come inside for dinner. Stop listening to this podcast. Stop listening. Turn it off. Stop listening. Nothing else good is no more laughs will come out. Exactly. We're now transferring into the two and a half hour podcast. Don't stop. Stop listening. Shit is not funny anymore. It's not funny, dude. Nope, it's work. Hang up. Bye. <laughs> Later. Don't call back either. Honestly, yeah. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Guess what? There's a new podcast every week, but don't listen to them. Don't listen to it. Next Friday, listen to something else. Honestly. Literally anything else. Or don't listen to something. Just get out there and do something. Don't- or don't even do anything. Just sit there idle looking at your fucking wall. Exactly. Give oh, Take a second from the fucking sensory overload that is life right now and just be with you. It's ADHD.